This is how you test out that the focus is working. Hello and welcome to Heather and Hops. My name is Kat and I'm a knitter based in Hertfordshire in the United Kingdom. If you're new, hello. Uh, if you've been here before, it's lovely to see you again. Or not see you, but talk at you. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is my little space on the internet where I talk about my knitting journey. I've documented from the very first project that I knitted all the way through to now where I am wearing tops and things that I have you have to excuse my tracksuit bottoms I'm gonna go for a run after this um, but I've been wearing my little forget-me-not top um, which I came up with when I saw this gorgeous yarn which is uh, actually a sock set by Back to Blighty Designs who has this uh, the blue colorway I believe like the bluey purple forget-me-not color on her Etsy at the moment which made me very excited but yeah not that this is a an advertising platform it's just it is there um, I love the color and I have I think just a tiny little bit which I think I'm gonna start a scrappy project with very soon um, yeah so let's start off with the things that I have oh hello Audrey Audrey is our uh, podcast cat, podcat, yeah, um, who might join us, might not. But the first finished object I will share is actually a, an Audrey project. Now, I got sent this, a link to this pattern or pictures of it about, <laughs> hello Audrey, eight times within the space of a week. Um, and last Friday, Alex. Um, sent me a request that I had to knit this or crochet this um, and since he said I had to do it I immediately got out my crochet hook found some scrap yarn and hooked on Audrey's cat bed um, she's looking at me like what are you doing with that so here it is I'm not gonna hold it up the entire time um, I will try and insert some footage as I talk about it but given that Audrey is a cat yes you're a lovely cat she's rubbing against my foot um, I was adamant that she wasn't going to use it even though throughout the entire process she was sitting on the pieces that I had been making and I ended up just using all the scrap that I had just bits and bobs bright green dark green bright blue and then I over dyed it um, one of the pieces in particular didn't go in the bath at all until I had taken the rest out um, so it still looks very scrappy but it's a little bit more cohesive than otherwise it would have been and I was tempted to invest in some furniture filling so that it would be more you know the right shape but again given Audrey's a cat and I thought she would be fickle I opted for bits of yoga mat that she had clawed um, and some some uh, pillow filling that I had been using anyway for little stuffies that I've been making over the past few years. So it was, a, I mean, it used up a lot of yarn, a lot of yarn, more than I anticipated. Um, so it's quite stash busting, but Audrey loves it. She's basically not stopped using it since I finished it. Even when I was unfinished, I'll, I'll try and pop pictures around. Um, maybe at the end of the video if I haven't inserted it here but like even before the arms were on she was on it so I actually had to keep moving her off to finish it and then the main reason for me that I was excited to make the sofa was actually the decor I in my head I've got a dream of crocheting Audrey in a little apartment or getting people to chip in I know a couple of people have already said that they would love to do some crochet which is really cool but I can see a little granny square lampshade a matching rug I can see uh, Halloween having like a little spider web afghan and some pumpkin pillows and Christmas having a little Christmas anyway that really excites me um, 
I'm not sure Audrey cares that much. Um, she has quite enjoyed having her little care worker um, rainbows on there and her little matching afghan. Um, yeah. Again, this this actually quickly was actually from a a podcast giveaway that I won, which is really exciting. And I don't know if I've mentioned it, and I definitely sent her an email to say thank you, but I should probably tag her in the picture, so I will. This is from Tea and Possibilities and the team at Lovecraft. Um, really soft, just acrylic yarn, which is definitely Audrey worthy. And a couple more. I'll stick with the crochet. I don't have... These are all tiny projects this week, um, but here is my Be My Baby wall hanging, which is new from my friend Becca, um, to be adorned, uh, and she has got a matching blanket, but this will be for my sister's little boy, who is due September, so cute little wall hanging, knits up quite quickly, crochets up. I forgot that I'm quite a loose knitter, so crochet it's really hard talking about different um but yeah so again this was using lots of scrappy bits that i had um i think this is a bit of daffodil which was left from uh, a cowl that i knitted for ching fiber uh super soft dk this is some slightly heavier weight uh aran tweed um i was naughty but i thought it would given that it was so loose it would benefit from it um drops lima, bit of everything in here. So this was really fun. If you're looking for a quick little gift project, I do recommend this. Very ni nicely written, very clear and perfect, I would say, for beginners because I could do it and I haven't crocheted in ages apart from that huge piece there. So yeah, I don't really have a lot to say this week. Um, if I am being completely honest, which I generally try to be. Um, I don't like to put myself out there telling all my woes but I do like to be quite transparent. Um, I have a test knit that I finished that um, I can't share the whole thing and I quite like to be able to share the whole thing so I'm going to show that in a couple of weeks time when the pattern's released. Um, it is the new Caden Hunter pattern which is really exciting to me given that I am I'm definitely not as shy of knitting her patterns, let's put it that way. Um, but I'm feeling a bit glum today, if I'm honest. Well, not glum, but down and strange. Um, not down, just a bit tired, drained, and it's been a morning. It's not been a bad morning, um, but my introverted being just wanted to be alone for a bit and cower because the world is dark at the moment but everyone's coming together and lovely so actually maybe I'm talking myself around through this podcast which is lovely um but yeah it's been a funny few weeks I am again if you have been here for a while and know that I've had some sickness I'm trying something different at the moment which has made me feel a little bit foggy as Alex knows very well I've lost yarn I've lost a start, like I keep losing things or forgetting where I've put them, um, including um, if you've again if you've been here for a while, I created a pattern called Dreaming Slow for Jing Fiber, and I've knit so many of these hats, but my three favourites that I have knitted, the uh, I knitted a green and purple one got stolen at a show, a little peach and pink one got stolen on the train, the last one, black one can't find it. Luckily I knit it out of drops which is affordable and I might have a bit spare to do another one. I don't really want to be knitting the same hat twice for the third time. So anyway, yeah. So if I am a little bit, whoa, 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 that might be playing a part in it too. Uh, yeah, I'm trying not to, trying to give enough information on these projects that it's kind of useful for people, but I don't know that I am being that thorough. I'm sorry and thank you for sticking with me. Um, I promise you at the end of this video there will be footage of Audrey enjoying her sofa, which I think that's what the internet is for, so stay with it if you if you can. Um, 
Oh, and my final one is, uh, if again, I've been sucked in by Hannah of The Corner of Craft and I have been watching Critical Role. And I'm going to embark on playing some more Dungeons and Dragons. I played a one shot recently and had the best time. So I knitted oh, this little um, dice bag, which I think would make, wakey wakey, would make a fantastic makeup bag for on the go or trinket bag for jewellery and things. Um, this was using Biff Sugar Yarns Daydreamer colourway on Merino Singles and it's an amalgamation of uh, a couple of patterns really. It was the Dragon Skin Knitted Dice Bag or Treasure Bag on Ravelry and I used a different uh, braid than I've done before. It's kind of more rope like. I did one less repeat because I don't have that many dice and I also added a crocheted pico bind off because how cute is that? My character's name is Lavender and I just thought how cool is that? Anyway, really simple pattern. It's a free pattern if you have any reason to be knitting gift bags even. Like there's so many cool little purposes for this and it takes an evening or a evening and a bit of a morning to knit so really fun I do recommend this pattern it was quite quite nicely written and very easy to follow if you're looking for a new pattern or something to knit in the evening that isn't a pair of socks if you're after something more vanilla -y, this was great that is it for finished objects I guess I'll show you these now I haven't woven the ends in because we all know that is something that I'm not adverse to because I know that once I do it, it takes a couple of minutes. But I over dyed my scrappy ish, Christmas ish, um, almost Rose City roller socks. Again, the Rose City roller pattern is fantastic as a gift pattern. And if you've got fairly small feet or average feet, you can probably get two pairs of socks out of a skein of sock yarn, which is amazing especially if they're gifts. Um, yeah, really happy with how these have come out. There's a bit more of a hint of blue on this one, which, or purple, which I'm really into, but they're sort of this dirty green, uh, which makes them a little bit more wearable day to day and at, at the top of my little van. So very happy with these. These were a bamboo and a blue face Lester base. So they should last quite well. Yeah, Rose City roller pattern. Again, free, very easy for beginners. I'm basically having a beginner session at the moment, which makes me quite happy in my slightly confuddled, fogged state. <laughs> Getting there. Um, I don't I haven't done much progress on other works in progress. I cast this on with the intention of it being a sort of Dungeons and Dragons virtual knit night cast on. So I don't have very much and it will be very much that. I've done a little bit of ribbing and I'm just doing a, my favorite sort of vanilla sock. So I will probably do fairly long cuff, usually 12, 12 rows, eight to 12 rows of ribbing, maybe 16 if I'm feeling fruity, fruity ribbing, horrible, sorry. Um, and then I will do a garter fish lips kiss heel and probably do the toes in this contrast colour. So they're living in my gorgeous little bag that Nugget got me, whose birthday is today. So if you do know her, send her a little birthday wish. Um, I can't remember what the contrast colour is, but it is a sock, a sock yarn that is actually really splitty. So if I find it, I'll let you know because I think it was a you know not a cheap mini but yeah and then this one which is really gorgeous this is one of my favorite um, colors that I've been knitting with recently and this is Siren and it is Biff Sugar Yarns on her sock base I knitted my frilly socks uh, in this which that pattern is actually ready for release I am just a bit nervous because it will be my first pattern that I'm sharing with the world on my own 
Um, and while I'm on that, this top looks not too dissimilar from my Caligavdana top, which is a little bit more elegant and classy and has more length. Um, and that is almost ready to go too, which again is absolutely terrifying. It's a garment, it's got a slightly strange construction, I think. Um, not strange, but it's, you know. Uh, yeah, but that's ready to go, so I can't quite decide when I should release it. I think it will be within the month. Um, yeah, if you've got any advice on how to go about doing that and things, that would be good. Uh, <laughs> anyway, vanilla socks. Cute little Christmas bag made by my best friend. Exciting. They will just be on the go for as long as there's no rush for them. Um, and then finally, following a sort of Dungeons and Dragons theme apparently today, yay! I cast on my elf mail by Danny Knits Things, who I didn't realise this was her first pattern that she released, and I've got to say, for the price, she's got three different price points, which is amazing, so it's quite inclusive. The sizing, again, quite inclusive. I've opted for the second size. Um, there's so much information. I think there's sort of six, six pages of information before the pattern starts, so you've got lots to go back on if you need to. If you've been knitting for quite a while, you could probably just jump straight in. Um, yeah, great, great pattern. And here is my elf mail. So, I can't tell you how much I am enjoying this pattern. It is a little bit more interesting than knitting on a vanilla sock, and I have been able to do this while I've been on my knit nights. Ah, it's so good. I can't wait to wear this. Um, initially I was going to opt for short sleeves, but Alex was right, and it, it is a bit more fancy, so I'm going to do it long sleeve. I think I added half an inch or quarter of an inch to the length so not much and I added a couple of extra rows of ribbing and that wasn't intentional that was because our virtual knit night on Mondays just got a bit interesting and I just carried on working so basically following the pattern exactly I am so chuffed with this so this is knit using I'm sorry I'm like it feels awesome um, my own colours, so the mustard is the uh, sunshine type on my yak base and the colour behind it is Ford. I'll hold them up to you. So these are the colours and I'm so happy with it and it does look a little bit regal. It's autumnally and yet cool and just, yeah, really nice pattern to work if you are looking for something that is relaxing to work on, yet you get the satisfaction of having a garment, I can't, I really can't recommend it enough actually. Um, Danny, you're amazing. I can imagine myself knitting one for me in uh, my normal wheelhouse. But then saying that I swatched, I actually swatched for this and I swatched six times because I wanted to see how the colours were going to interact and I tried purple and greys, purple and blues I, and I opted for this <laughs> so I do recommend having a play first um, but it is a gorgeous pattern and I cannot wait to wear it um, I'm trying to slow down on it because I'm actually enjoying it that much I'm just doing a few rows here and there and rows? rounds I taught Alex that the other day. He kept saying, I've done like 10 rounds, on, uh, 10 rows. I was like, you get in trouble. It's a round. But obviously I wasn't that mean. But I'm just telling him so that when he comes on here, he can be like, oh, I've done so many rounds. He won't talk like that. I'm broken today. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> elf mail, gorgeous pattern. The lovely nugget who made me this bag, actually cast one on using a really gorgeous red and sort of mustardy orangey colourway and sunshine type and I'm really loving seeing that come together too so 
yeah I'm going to <laughs> round it off here um, if you have any questions about things that I've been working on if you have any ideas for one skein sock projects or one skein sock plus a mohair project please let me know I am still on the hunt for some patterns so to speak um, yeah that is all I have to share with you really it's still a very strange time I'm so grateful for this community and our discord group which we have going which is a really you know relaxed pop in say hi if you want share what you're working on share how you are share outdoor pictures we're quite enjoying seeing a bit of nature for those that are stuck inside and isolating and virtual knit nights on mondays where a nice group of us get together from all across the world all in different time zones which makes it quite interesting um but yeah uh overall i hope you're having a respect respectively I hope you're having a, as good a time as you can given the situation. I hope that you are all as well as you can be. I hope you're looking after yourselves and those that surround you or don't surround you. Reach out to those that might need it. Reach out to those that might you might not think need it because there's a chance that they might need talking to. And not like they need talking to, like they need a connection. Everyone needs connections. The lack of connection usually leads to addiction all of these things I won't go over time and time again being me and strange but love one another love yourself hopefully you get some time to make and knit and I wish you well and send you lots of love I'm going to insert some footage of our little adventures obviously not quite as uh, wild as they have been in the past but nevertheless it's a little glimpse into our life so I hope to see you again very soon. Feel free to share the projects that you are working on and take care. Can I continue crocheting it? Can I crochet? No? You're not going to have a couch if I can't do it. She really, really enjoyed the process of me crocheting that sofa. We've made sure that we've found some time to have a bit of fun with food. These veggie burgers were surprisingly delicious. And we've got in nature as much as we possibly can. <laughs>